Hey everyone, Morgan Reader here. Thank you for joining me on um, Monday Messages for Morgan. This is number two. So my name is Morgan Rieger and I am a full-time biology teacher turned full-time um, health and fitness and business coach, I guess you could call me. So how I actually make a living is I am a beach body coach. So what that is, is essentially I have been a beach body lover for a long time. I've been I started doing their workouts in like, I think high school, my older sister ordered Turbo Jam and I just loved it and fell in love. And then about two years ago, I found out about the coaching opportunity where essentially I just share my journey, help inspire others, help them in challenge groups and um, earn an income off of that. So it's been absolutely amazing and it's fun showing other people they can do it too. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how I make a living, and I also run a double franchise with my boyfriend, Steven, um, as my day job now instead of teaching. So that is what I do, and if you follow me on social media, I'm pretty open about my life, but the reason I created Monday Messages for Morgan is because I wanted to dive deeper. I wanted to get real and raw with you and invite you into my home. This is me, and it's not an email because I hate typing. It's a video because... That's how I feel I can express myself the best, and I just hope you enjoy it, and I hope you can relate, and that's basically all this is, is just me sharing what I've learned over the past two years, because that's what's when my life has really changed, and hopefully you can take something from that. So today I really wanted to talk about the word happiness, because it's something I struggled with. And I hope you can relate to this because at first I thought it was like, oh, this is such a weird topic. I didn't really share it with anybody because I didn't, I thought I was weird. I struggle to be happy. And that sounds so weird, right? I, I've lived a pretty good life. I had a really good upbringing. Um, I did well in school. I played sports. I went to university. There was really literally not that much to be unhappy about but I was still unhappy and I just couldn't figure it out not that I was unhappy I was kind of just like what's that word where you just stay the same all the time mellow same I don't know like I was never super never super super happy or never like super super sad it was just always like yeah okay like this is good and it just felt weird and I just was always felt like I was doing something wrong or something was wrong with me. Um, I never had that super strong passion and drive that people talk about. Um, so I started honestly like doing personal development on happiness and figuring out what was up with me. Like am I depressed? I don't know. Like what's wrong with me? And what I've learned over this time is we control how happy we are. It's a mental decision how happy you are. Um, it's not, you can't depend on certain life events to make you happy to some point. Yes, but you make the choice. You make the choice how happy and passionate you are going to be every day. And that's what I didn't realize. I was just kind of like, well, happiness is supposed to come natural. You know, my relation, just like I thought my relationships come natural me and Steven are fine. It's just supposed to be all natural. Uh, no. First of all, I learned that. You need to put in the work into your relationships, into your jobs, into your health, into your fitness. So why wouldn't you have to put emphasis and effort into your happiness? And that's when it finally clicked for me. And I started doing activities that were recommended. And I wanted to share one activity that I do that I think will really help you if you can relate to this happiness thing. If you are like, over the moon, passionate all the time, then this video probably you're not going to relate to that much. But if you're kind of like me, like my life is good. So why am I not feeling like super happy all the time? Then hopefully this helps. So what I do, I have to train my brain to really see the happiness because I think that's what I had my brain trained to see. What more can I do? What can I do better? And that's like always what my brain was trained to see. So that's how I felt. So I've really had to train my brain to see the good, the happiness, the things that make me feel passionate and good. So there's so much hustle and bustle during the day. So I usually do this before I get out of bed and then right when I get into bed. 
I just lay there, I close my eyes, and when I wake up, I think of three things that are just good, that are good in my life, that make me happy. As sim they can be so simple, like I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna enjoy a nice cup of coffee on the couch with pancakes. Like that actually makes me really, really happy, as simple as that is. So three things that just make me feel good inside, you know? And then, so that kind of just starts off my day in a positive mental mindset. And then right when I go to bed, I do the same thing. What are three things that I'm just really, really happy for? Close my eyes and just three things as simple as they are. And that has helped me tremendously to start to train my brain to see the good in every day. And that's, that's what it's all about because we are surrounded by so much negativity and people always asking for more from us to do better. And if you're like me, if you're a people pleaser and a perfectionist, you're always wanting to do better. And it's you're always looking to improve and picking out the things that aren't quite right. But that's not what this life is about, right? So it's not going to happen instantly. I'm going to tell you that. You need to start to train your brain to think in this way. So that activity, thinking of the three rate. Right when you wake up and the three wait right when you go to bed, you're gonna start to train your brain. And once you get that done throughout the day, start to pick it out. When you see things, start to just pick out small positive things and for five seconds just be like, Yeah, that's awesome. You know? Like I was driving to work yesterday morning and there was this guy walking. I've seen him walk before, but I just kinda like let him pass by. But he walks and he's got two amputees and he walks around our town. And I literally like slowed down. I'm just like, dang, that is friggin' awesome. Like, he is just awesome. It just made me feel so good to see him. And it reminded me how thankful I am to have this healthy body. You know, it can be as simple as that. So start with your three positives in the morning and evening, and then start to pick out small things throughout your day. And I promise you, you will start to train your brain to think, in a happier way. And yeah, some days are good, some days are bad, and some days you're like, dang, I suck at this, but it will come. I'm still working on it every single day, but it gets better, I promise. And you'll start to feel that happy feeling um, that you should be feeling, okay? Just, I don't want you to think that it's wrong not to feel it, because it's natural. I'm in this exact same boat. So I hope you could relate to this video and down below you're going to see um, Morgan's weekly marvelous find. So I'm going to start doing this every week in the video too because I always come across such awesome stuff and I want to share that with you too. So below you will find um, in the email that I sent you that you're subscribed to, you'll find what I found this week and it's amazing. So if you have any suggestions on topics you want to be covered, remember to email me. It's in this email, and if you want to share this, if you think anybody could benefit from joining the newsletter list, make sure you tell them about it as well. I hope you have an amazing week, an amazing happy week, and um, we'll see you next Monday. Love ya.